Hello lovely painters, today we're going to be painting Grumpy Cat. For this you will need brushes and water, yellow, blue, white, brown and black colors, tape, a sharpie. Also below of this on this video you will see that there is a PDF with the Grumpy Cat that I'm going to upload. Please download it and print it out. And then you will also need 9 by 12 inch canvas. You can also use 8 by 10 inch canvas. The first step that we're going to do is take our cat, print it out, cut it to the size indicated and tape it to the back of our canvas. So for now we're going to flip the canvas right like this. Then we're going to take the cat, flip it over downward and over here along the edges tape it. Now that the cat is taped uh, pretty well, we are going to flip the canvas and you should be able to see the outline of the cat that we're going to be tracing with a pencil or I'm going to do it with a sharpie. Because the ears did not fit, just simply going to finish them off. They are not too pointy, kind of roundy. This one about like so. Just finish off and also over here. Continue and continue this line as well. Mix black and orange to get a really nice dark brown. Now that we are done with our browns, let's go over to the lighter blonde shade that he has over here around his, his uh, eyes and also a little bit over here in his body. In the same brown, we're going to add white and a little bit of orange. Next step will be taking white and adding a little bit of orange and with this light orange color painting a little bit of his coat already starting to do the strokes of the fur so up and down motions and also painting a little bit over here With a small brush, a little bit of pink and a lot of white, let's do the area around his nose and mouth. Take some black and outline me on top of what we just did, the little line for the mouth, very grumpy, very downward looking, and nostrils. So little dots of nostrils in black and over here underneath there's a tiny line, it's a shadow behind the nose. And continue this all the way down here. Let's take pure white and fill in the areas that are white. When you come over here Feather it out so that we have, it's okay when it takes the brown on, we're just gonna go over it a couple more times. Feather it out so that it looks like fur, it looks very natural, it doesn't stop. And just go over a couple of times in white, Let it, I'm gonna wait a little bit to dry. So when looking at our grampy cat, we can see that she has some strokes of white fur over here where the ears are, a little bit of white on the ears, and also eyebrows. Where the front of the cat, let's add more white strokes. Okay, great. Now for the background, let's take a very nice blue color. If yours is a little darker, add white to it and apply this color to all of the background. Now let's add some white into the same blue so that we reach a nice baby blue color. Well, let's say about here. And so I have finished the background strokes and I also applied blue into the eyes of the cat. Now I'm going to take pure black 
and do the inside of the eyes. To finish off our lovely painting, I'm going to add some highlights for the eyes. Simple dot. And we are done. Thank you for watching everybody.